Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, September 11th. This week, we are just going to jump right in here. Uh, you start off with this thriving card and this embracing card. Uh, it definitely seems to be a time where you should be thriving. Um, and if you're in luck, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So uh, if you're not thriving, then we're going to have to look and see what you need to do. Well, number one, I would say that you have to change your story. King of Pentacles is a card of convention. So again, I feel most of you, this looks good, right? Things could be going really well or things will be picking up this week. But uh, again, if you're saying that things are not going well, then um, I think that number one, breaking free from convention is going to be a good idea for you with the four, uh, sorry, the um, King of Pentacles here. I was looking at the four of wands when I said that. Um, so again, breaking free from your story or, um, you know, again, if you repeat mistakes or if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, um, breaking free from that is going to be um, something that sets you free. I have like something popping into my head about like, you know, you have this dragon card and it's like, you know, when you think about it, I don't know why, you know, that card in that deck, it represents kind of like ancient energy, you know, ha something that came from your ancestors, but it's like, I'm hearing like inner fire. It's like, when you think about it, dragons have fire on the inside, right? <laughs> and I feel like there is something that's like inside of you. Um, that is your inner fire. It is like the thing that, you know, creates success in your life. It is the thing that, um, drives you forward, whatever the case may be. And I really feel this reading is encouraging you to kind of like embrace or, you know, unle unleash that inner fire although this says embrace and it does this card it kind of does look kind of fiery right you know you can see here that there's this um you know this this here kind of looks like a red sky on this embracing card you know so um you know i kind of feel it's like saying embrace that inner fire whatever motivates you to action uh but again you have that thriving card so you know this is coming up the first row here is going to represent your past position and um you know it could say that uh you thought you know you were in a situation that you thought was thriving um, for some of you, I feel like you are thriving, plain and simple. It's a pretty good reading. So, you know, I think you are thriving. But uh, whatever the case may be, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles is about focusing on yourself, focusing on your own independence. I do feel like some of you are doing that. Some of you could have like a past person here, uh, like a devil who's spying on you. But, you know, this to the magician is really telling me that, you know, the magician to me says that you are focused on creating your own reality. So, you know, even if someone is spying or whatever, I don't even think you're focusing on it in general. You even have the King and Queen of Swords here. Uh, which are my least favorite divine counterparts. So, you know, um, it's like this guy is facing forward. She has her back to the king of swords here. She has her back to the devil. So I kind of feel like you have your back to the like a devil-like person. This person could have been very tricky, manipulative. This comes up for you. So, you know, this came up for you, I think, in your last September reading. So it wouldn't surprise me if some of you were dealing with a tricky, manipulative person um, someone like that. It's like now, like I, I get this feeling on the six of swords of this person, um, like going through something where they have to kind of move on or release something from the past. And it's like, now they're looking to you for help, but I feel like they always look to you for help here, Pisces. This is all I'm going to say about this. Cause again, I feel like you're moving past this, but you know, I feel like they're, they've always looked to you for help, like most Pisces, right? <laughs> so I feel like you're moving on. You're taking care of yourself. I get a very independent vibe from this reading. That does not mean you're going to be alone. And you end with the soulmates card as well. So there could be like a new soulmate that is entering into your life. But I kind of feel, you know, maybe at this very moment, right, you are more focused on increasing your financial security. Uh, you know, we, we, you have this next eclipse, by the way, in Libra, which is going to be in your eighth house. You had your last eclipse in your second house in Aries. And I'm, I'm saying this because your next card is full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. So, you know, if you think back to the last, last eclipse and, you know, it's like, what were you working on during that time? Were you trying to create something new? Um, were you just thinking about something new in your life that could affect your finances? Again, uh, personally, I think these eclipses are going to be pretty good for you, you know, especially, the, you know, the Libra eclipse in your eighth house. Um, you know, this is going to be really good energy for you as far as your finances are concerned. Now, that doesn't happen until next month, but it doesn't matter. You know, we're getting very, very close and... So I would I would start thinking about it now. I would also start thinking about 
you know, anything you can break free from with the King of Pentacles. He does the same thing over and over and over again. You know, so it's like, can you do something new? I changed my background today. I hate it. Sorry, <laughs> but I don't have enough time to, to rearrange it again. So again, I hate it. But again, I'm doing something new, right? It's like, can you uh, mix things up? Can you change things up during your day? Again, that's where you're going to discover your genius. I heard the word, I said something about your like genius idea or something at the beginning of the reading. And I feel that some of you do have a genius idea. You have this, King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Even though they're not great divine counterparts, they are great for maybe having a genius idea or a plan, you know, um, some sort of strategy in your life that's going to lead to a victory. And, um, you know, I kind of feel that's what's coming in for you with this Ace of Swords. I feel like you've kind of, it's kind of funny you have the sword and, you know, the devil and the dragon. You know, dragons kind of hoard gold. Dragons, um, you know, protect gold and dragons can represent fears. And so when we face our fears, that's where we get our gold. And, you know, again, I'm wondering... If the devil, uh, sometimes also represented by a dragon, right? Uh, the devil. And so I feel for some of you, it's like conquering some sort of fear or a devil in your life, something toxic is going to lead to some gold for you. Uh, so let's see. Uh, with the nine of pentacles, you have the 10 of wands. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like you've been dealing with burdens. I feel like you've been kind of like, um, you know, revisiting things that you've been through in your life. I feel like you're kind of, I, I'm hearing the word approach as well. You do have this card that says a fiery climax approaches, but it's like, I feel like you're changing your approach to just different things in your life. And this is going to lead to a lot of success for you. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have the Emperor here, a lot of Aries energy, a lot of action taking energy in this reading, I'm noticing. Uh, so uh, what else did I see? I guess this is it. But, um, you know, again, I, some of you could have an Aries coming in if you're looking for love. Um, and uh, if you're not, then even if you are, I feel like you're taking action on new ideas. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Four of Wands. Uh, you have Four of Wands twice. Some of you definitely could be getting married. Uh, this could be a person who's trying to rush in telling you that they want to marry you. You know, obviously, if it's a past person, I would be very careful of this. It's like, you know, it's like one of those things where it's like, is it, you know, especially if this person went to go see, you know, it went to go kind of sow their wild oats. Maybe they went to see what else was out there. I'd be like, uh, no, uh, go, just go, you know, um, uh, just go after yourself. One of my favorite people of all time, Lisa Moeller, right? Her podcast is called Just Go After Yourself. And that's exactly what I would say. And it stands for forgive, not the other word that you're thinking of, right? Uh, next in the area of, um, uh, the your present situation. You have this card that says a personal issue reaches resolution. A fiery. Then you have the full moon in Aries. It says a fiery climax approaches. So, again, I would be careful of a past person who's trying to mess up your day. This came up in your last reading. So I don't know. This person must be in your energy. Uh, but you know, do whatever you have to do to protect yourself from this person. I also I feel really good about that though. That fiery climax approaches card. It's like you're unleashing your the beast. And I said to you in your last reading that you're unleashing the beast or something as well. This is this must be something that you're working on, you know, for the entire month of September. I said Pisces gone wild, and maybe it's that inner fire is a better way to put it again with the dragon. But it's like the dragon's holding it on the inside. You know, it's I feel that you could be expressing your inner fire, but it's something creative or a strategy or a plan that you've been thinking about for your life. This is pretty deep here, Pisces. It's like this fire comes from a very deep place. Um, you have the uh, four of wands, the devil, and the king of swords. I do feel that for some of you, you know, the four of wands can also be freedom. And I feel that a lot of you are um, stepping into a place of freedom. You're creating more opportunities for you to be free. It, I mean, I'm cheating a little bit because, you know, based off your astrology, anything that feels like a prison to you has been, you know, is has definitely been highlighted, you know, maybe over like the last two years or so. It's like things where things that feel like ten of wands, things that feel like an obligation, those things are getting more and more irritating or they should be <laughs> at this time. And it's not to irritate you. It's so that you do something about it. So I would make sure that if you are experiencing any irritations, like maybe there's certain obligations you have or certain things that you have to do because of your job or whatever, you know, I would be looking at those things and saying, how can I eliminate these things? How can I make them better? Or how can I do something else, right? Those are the three, qu the, the three options you have basically. Something new, how can you make, how can you just make it better? Sometimes we just need a mindset change to make a situation better. Or how can you just go do something else. Um, you have the devil here. I would be careful of this person here. 
You know, it's like, I feel like they're still attached as well is what I feel like saying with the devil. I feel like this person is the devil. So I would just be careful of any devil-like people. This has been coming up for you for a while. And you have the king of swords here. I feel like you see the truth. And, you know, I feel like you see things very clearly. I also feel like you could be calling kind of, it's kind of like you're calling judgment on a situation. Like you could be um, just sitting in your, on your throne. It's like you, you've learned everything you need to learn about a situation, especially if this is a past person. I feel like you're, you're saying to yourself, like I've had all the experiences, you know, I, I've experienced everything I need to with this person. I know what this person's story is, so I'm moving forward. And again, you know, I would make sure to do that with the King of Swords. Don't get sucked into some sort of weird devil situation here. Um, so let's see what is coming up for you here, Pisces, in the present. With the Four of Wands, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is like a slow moving energy. I feel progress though. I feel pretty good about this. Um, normally I do not like the Knight of Pentacles, but really actually I really kind of like them in your reading. I feel that you're making progress. I feel you could be making some changes and uh, it's gonna lead to forward momentum in your life. Again, you're, you are moving forward towards fulfillment right here. So definitely a really good energy. Uh, with the devil, you have the high priestess. Definitely trust your intuition here for sure. Um, you know, I, I, the even the king of swords says, is a card of discernment. It says, trust your inner voice. But, um, you know, I would be careful of some, you know, person here. I don't like to dwell on these things in readings. I hardly ever talk about it. But, uh, you know, when it comes up, it comes up, Pisces. So, you know, again, I don't think, you know, I don't do Kim Kardashian tarot, right? I don't do drama tarot. But what I would say is, you know, again, I don't do drama tarot. So avoid the drama, right? <laughs> don't, you know, don't get into some weird thing with a person. With the King of Swords, you have the moon. The moon is about seeing things, you know, the, the reality. It can represent fears, anxiety, illusion, fantasies. But it's almost like you've seen the truth of a situation. And I, Six of Swords in your next row, I just plain and simple, I see you moving on, moving forward here. So just that simple. Uh, next, you in the area of your future, your near future, you have this dragon in this deer card. The deer card is like a very nurturing, compassionate energy. The deer is also an energy of trusting your intuition. The dragon, like I said, I was getting like inner fire, like something like that, because I don't know, I, like I put that card down. I was like, oh yeah, dragons have fire inside them or something like that is what popped into my head. And again, normally I just read this card how it is in the book, which is that it kind of represents like ancient energy or something, you know, maybe coming from your ancestors or something like that, like knowledge or wisdom, or it could say that you're gaining knowledge or wisdom in your dreams, your daydreams, or if you work with your guides or anything like that. But um, again, I'm just really focused on your inner fire. It's like like something has been building, you know, in your in your belly, you know, the of and I feel it's something that needs to be created. You know that that um that belly fire uh, is kind of like creative energy, right? So it's like something is needs to come from a very deep place inside of you. And um, but I feel like if you do it, you will kind of like set things on fire in a good way. You'll be on fire <laughs> in in a good way. You are on fire, Pisces, right? But I feel like something needs to be created. But it's it's like your inner truth, you know. It's like maybe you have a job and you want to start a business or whatever. And I feel like something needs to come out. It's like something needs to be birthed, right? You have these six of swords, the page of swords and the uh, magician. I feel like you are moving on. It's like you are moving on from things that no longer serve you. I feel like you're moving across the choppy waters, getting to calmer shores. But I kind of see this as deeper. It's like, you know, this woman and the child in the boat, they are leaving everything behind them behind. They are bringing nothing with them across the choppy waters. So I feel for a lot of you, it's like you understand, you know, it's kind of weird because I, I almost feel you're going to this place where there are very few people. <laughs> That's what I feel like saying in my head. I don't, that could be a good thing. It's like, you know, that could be you setting yourself apart, but it's almost as if you're, um, you're worried that when, if you cross this threshold that you won't like find a person, for example, you know, or, you know, I don't know, you're like worried that if you cross this threshold, you won't get something that you think you want, right? I don't know, very weird feeling. This this reading is deep, <laughs> I would say, but it's almost like you, you are thinking like if I le go across this threshold, if I, you know, take this leap of faith or, you know, let my fire out, then, you know, I can never go back to the way things were. It's like, it's kind of like breaking free from the matrix, right? It's like, you can never go back to the real world. And I kind of get that feeling here on this card. Uh, but I also feel like this is something that has been triggered because, you know, it could have been triggered by this past devil person. Maybe they live their life in a certain way and you're just like, it's like you're not making, I don't think you're judging it you're or judging this person. I feel like you're just saying like, I, I want to make sure to break free from that. 
Uh, it does kind of make sense, you know, also that, you know, just with the Venus retrograde and everything, you could have been triggered a lot by personal relationships, just people in your life, just in general. And not like maybe not in a bad way, but again, more in the way that you're saying like, oh, I want to live my life in a better way or a different way. So I'm going to make these changes. And I kind of see that happening here with the Page of Swords. It's like you, all these things I see you seeing. <laughs> Page of Swords is a card of curiosity, but sometimes I feel it can be awareness as well. You have the Magician. I really do feel you are manifesting like your dream world in, in you know, again, this is not something that happens overnight. This is something that is going to take time. I really feel, as I've been saying to you for like a year now, people are going to like wonder, you know, where you came from. You know, it's, <laughs> that's like the feeling I get here, Pisces. It's like, I really do, I'm not, I'm not even trying to be clickbaity or blow, blow smoke here. This is like legitimately what I feel. I feel like people are going to be like, where the hell did, you know, Pisces come from? Where did they get this knowledge or wisdom? It's always been there, right? Like the dragon, you know what I mean? It's like, they the dragon has awoken here in this reading. And, and it's like now, um, you know, like I said, dragons protect gold. And so, you know, I feel like now you are protecting your gold. You are protecting, you know, what is yours. But I also feel that you're kind of like coming out of nowhere in a lot of ways. So especially, you know, if you work in social media, if you start a business or anything like that, or it doesn't even matter, I feel like you're kind of coming out of nowhere. With the Six of Swords, yes, I, I really do feel this fear of like future love. Like as in, you know, it's like maybe you've made some sacrifices and you're saying to yourself like, oh, if I, um, you know, I'm, I, if I go try to find love or whatever, um, uh, you know, like now that I made sacrifices, maybe you're like making more money and you're worried that if you meet a new person, you'll only find a person who wants you for money or whatever. It's like, I don't know, I have those like weird fears popping into my head here with the Ace of Cups. With the Page of Swords, you have the Magician again. Yes, it is time for you to manifest your own reality. Again, I would be careful of a trickster, you know, person here or trickster energy. Uh, with the Magician, you have the Six of Swords. Basically, the universe saying, I meant what I said. Like, it's time for you to go to this new place. You know, it is time for you to cross through that threshold. And it's like, yeah, there are certain people or whatever that cannot come with you. It's just how it is. Um, so I kind of feel here that um, maybe, you know, that you are leaving things behind. This could be people, places, or things, but you are evolving. You know, the Magician is a card of reinvention. He has this snake wrapped around his waist and it represents just reinventing yourself. So, you know, very, very powerful reading. Uh, at the end here for your outcome, you have this thinker card and this soulmate card. So again, I do feel you could be attracting a new soulmate. I also, you know, another more symbolism that you have to kind of like level up here. You know, you could see she's sitting here, but sorry, let me just do it this way because I always get it backwards, but she needs to go up here, you know, to that higher place. It's like there's somewhere else, you know, there's something better for her where she could level up, but she might have to leave things behind. And again, you might be worried that you won't find a soulmate or you won't find a person, but I don't, I don't think that's true. Obviously, four of wands twice, I feel your true soulmate is coming. You have the nine of cups, queen of swords, and the eight of wands. Uh, nine of cups is about focusing on the energy of what you want. It's like, if you could just bathe in the energy of what you want, you'll have everything that you want. <laughs> so, you know, become the energy of what you want. Magician twice, you know, manifest your desires and you will be very successful. Uh, you have the Queen of Swords here. Queen of Swords sees things clearly for the first time. I do feel there is a great deal of clarity. I mean, you know, Venus going direct uh, pretty soon. You know, really, I would wait until like the middle of the month, but you know, pretty soon uh, Mercury will be going direct. And so, you know, there's like more and more clarity as we work through the month. Um, you know, again, I wouldn't uh, rush into anything, but you know, like I said, I feel like you're gaining clarity here. Uh, and you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is, of course, good news or good things coming in for you. So I do feel that there's good news. I also feel like things are speeding up for you. But again, um, you know, I also think that for for you to get things to like really speed up in your life, um, I really feel that that fire needs to come out. It's something deep inside of you. It's this, um, you know, something that you want to create or something that you want to have. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Fool needing to take a leap of faith to make this happen. Uh, so, you know, go for it. <laughs> See, there could be like an idea that you think is foolish as well. You know, for some of you, I feel you could be thinking of an idea that seems crazy or, you know, whatever. But whatever the idea is, I would do it because it might be just so crazy that it's like genius. With the Queen of Swords, you have the Page of Cups here. Yeah, it definitely could be a new person coming in for you. And, um, you know, I'd say it's much different. You know, this could be someone, you know, I'm, I'm noticing the deer and the dragon and it's like, you know, this could be a person who like tames you. This could be a person who, you know, is able to calm you down or something along those lines. They could come in with like a gentle touch. So, you know, it could be that type of person as well. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have the Three of Pentacles. 
Teamwork makes a dream work. Eight of Wands is a card of socializing as well. Uh, but Three of Pentacles is a card of like showing off your work. You know, it's a card of quality work and being recognized for the work that you do. So uh, like I said, I really do get this feeling. It's like, I, I think to people on the outside, you know, it looks like you came out of nowhere. You know, it looks like like all of a sudden you just changed your life or became successful or just found your soulmate or whatever. But really, I feel this is something that has, number one, always been there, dragon. Uh, but uh, number two is something you've been working on for a long time. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes. Uh, you have this empathy card here. Mm, you know, some of you could be expressing empathy towards a past person, but or something along those lines. But for the most part, I feel you're taking care of yourself. I feel like you're looking for a true companion, you know, with this dog here. So there you go. Uh, you have this defense card. Yes, I would definitely protect yourself if you need to at this time with the uh, defense card and make sure to take care of yourself. Uh, next, you have this resistance card. Like this is, uh, I mean, you know, I don't know what to say. This is like your next 20 years, Pisces, <laughs> is that you are going to get to the edge of the cliff where you have to take the leap of faith and you are going to experience the most resistance. So like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and be like, oh, everything's going to be sunshine, rainbows and unicorns, right? It's like, yeah, um, everything that you want is on the other side of something you've never done before. I've been saying it since uh, 2020, right? So you really have to get six of swords, get to that new island. You have to take the risks. Again, anything that's worth doing, you're probably going to feel resistance to it. You're going to feel like, oh, you know, all these fears and anxieties are going to come up. But if you push past that point, that is where your dream life is, right? Uh, you have this convention card. I literally said it. <laughs> I literally said convention at the beginning of the reading. This is what you need to break past is that the convention, the way things have always been done. If you change your story, you'll change your life, plain and simple. Uh, you have this enthusiasm card. Yes, a lot to be excited about Pisces, a lot of good stuff. Um, coming in for you. So I actually love this reading. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.